hello student uh, in last session we discussed about how to find out the velocity of the epicyclic gears in by tabular method generally there are two methods to find out the velocity of the epicyclic gear drive the first one is the tabular method we discuss about the, the tabular method and we solve some numerical which is based on the tabular method okay second method to find out the velocity ratio of the epicyclic gear drive is called as the algebraic method or relative velocity method so what is the algebraic method or what is a relative velocity in this method we find out the velocity of the one gear with respect to the other gear means suppose there are two gears a and b then i will find if the gear a is rotating and if other gear is fixed then we will find the velocity of the one gear with respect to the other gear so we will start here consider this is a gear a okay this this is meshing with the gear B gear A gear B and this both the gears are connected by the arm C arm C okay so I will consider this gear is like this okay so uh, first of all I consider here the arm C is fixed arm C is fixed first condition is what arm c is fixed then velocity of velocity of gear a with respect to arm c arm c is equal to n a minus n c i consider the speed of the gear a is n a speed of the gear b is n b and speed of the gear c is n c so when i find out the speed of gear a with respect to arm c with respect to arm c is n a minus n c when we consider that is velocity of a one gear with respect to other gear then it will be right in the form of this as a minus nc now velocity of gear b with respect to arm c velocity of the gear b with respect to arm c we will write it as nb minus and okay this is the velocity of the gear b with respect to gear arm c now velocity ratio velocity ratio velocity ratio of this gear drive in which arm c is fixed is equal to what nb minus nc divided by na minus and c okay velocity ratio is equal to nb minus nc divided by na minus nc let nb is the speed of the gear b and a is the speed of the gear a and nc is the speed of the gear arm c when this gear a is rotating in a clockwise direction i consider that gear a is rotating in clockwise direction and when arm c is fixed then gear b we will rotate in an anti clockwise direction when gear a is rotated in a clockwise direction and arm c is fixed then gear b will rotate in an anti clockwise direction then velocity ratio is equal to pa divided by pb and here is minus where ta is equal to what is the ta ta is the number of teeth on a gear a tb is the number of teeth on a gear b and this minus sign is big here because the speed of the gear a the direction of rotation of the gear b is opposite to that of the a therefore there is a minus sign and when on when on c 
is fixed in this equation when alpha is fixed means nc is equal to 0 therefore velocity ratio is equal to velocity ratio is equal to nb divided by na which is equal to minus ta divided by pb this is the velocity ratio of this epicyclic gear drive when the arm C is fixed. Okay. Now, if gear A is fixed, here I will consider that is gear when if gear A is fixed, then what is the velocity ratio? When gear A is fixed, it means and A is equal to zero, and then velocity ratio. Velocity ratio is equal to Na is equal to that is Nb minus Nc divided by N. Na is equal to 0 is 0 minus Nc which is equal to minus Ta divided by Pb which is also equal to if I can compare this equation then it will be equal to Nb divided by nc minus nc divided by nc is equal to ta divided by pb this minus sign and this minus sign will get cancelled and we will get this equation nc nc is equal to 1 is equal to nb divided by nc is minus 1 is equal to ta divided by pb and nb divided by nc is equal to 1 plus ta divided by pb and this is the formula for velocity ratio for epicyclic gear train when gear a is fixed okay these are the two vectors which is used to find out the velocity of the epicyclic gear train or velocity ratio of the epicyclic gear train but generally this Relative velocity method or algebraic method is not commonly used because tabular method is very simple. As compared to algebraic method, by solving the, the numerical which consists of a large number of gears, then this algebraic method or relative velocity method is get more complicated. So instead of solving the numerical by algebraic method, tabular method is generally used. If they ask in a numerical to solve the algebraic, uh, to solve the numerical of the gear drain, then you can use any one method out of this, but generally the tabular method is most favorable while solving this type of the numerical. Okay. Now we will discuss the another type, which is the subtype of the epicyclic gear drain. In epicyclic gear there are two gears or more than two gears and these gears are connected by the arm. Okay, this is a subtype of the epicyclic gear drain that is planetary gear drain. Just like in our solar system, the, the planets are revolving around the sun. Okay, so similarly in this type of the planetary gear train, this center gear is called as the Sun gear, sun gear, it is sometimes denoted by the S. These are the small gears, or in case of it will be a large as per our applications or as per our design. These outside gears or this the gear which is connected to this sun gear is called as the planet gear, and these planet gear are rotate inside this gear, this is called as the annular gear. Okay. Annual gear generally denoted by the A, planet gear is generally denoted by the P, and sun gear is denoted by the S. And this arm is connected to this all this. In this case, there are three planets here. So this arm is connected to these three planets. Okay. And in this type of the gear train, the numerical is asked because generally in university exam, the numerical will ask on this concept. In this, they give to the 
rotation of this arm or rotation of speed of this gear and they will ask find out the speed of the other planet gear or annular gear or find the number of t on respective gear uh, so we will find this or we will solve this type of the numerical by the tabular method but, is, but because by using the algebraic method or relative velocity method this type of numerical will be a more complicated so we will solve this type of the numerical by the tabular method so in this type of the gear the speed of all the gear will be the same the speed of all these planet gear are same because they are connected by this arm and this arm is look like a rigid unit okay so uh, we will solve the numerical which is based on this the numerical we saw same as that we saw the numerical on the topic of epicyclic gear train by using the tabular method so we will solve the numerical which is based on the planetary gear train so here is a numerical based on a planetary gear train the numerical is given that the epicyclic gear train as shown in figure this planetary gear train is a sub part of the epicyclic gear train so generally it is called as the epicyclic gear train which consists of a sun gear s this is the sun gear s and internal gear e this is the internal gear e okay which is stationary the gear e is stationary which means it will not rotate and the planet gear t is carried on a star shaped parallel carrier the star shaped parallel carrier means this arm this is arm this arm is called as a because shape of this arm is star shaped so it is called the star shaped parallel carrier because it carries the three planets these are the three planets being denoted by the p okay the planet carrier c rotates at one third speed of the sun with s means what is here first of all given is what the gear e is stationary gear e is stationary means n e speed of the gear e is stationary is equal to zero the planet carrier c is rotating planet carrier c speed of the c is one third of the speed of the sun c is of arm c carrier of arm c and s for the speed of the sun here the speed of the carrier or arm c is equal to one third of the speed of the sun v the minimum number t number of t on any v is 20 means if there is the minimum number of t the minimum number of t in any wheel must be or it will be a minimum 20 means not less than less than 20 the number of t or any gear should be a 20 or it should be greater than 20 but it should not be less than 20 find the number of t on different wheels of the train so we have to find out the the number of t on each wheel okay so here are generally we consider while solving the numerical based on epicyclic gear train we have to find out how many elements in this epicyclic gear train the first member is this arm c the second member is this sun gear third member is planet gear all the three planets gear are connected to each other by the carrier or by the arm c so the the shape and speed of the rotation of this all the three gears will be same so we will consider this as the single element and fourth element is the internal gear e what is mean by internal gear these all the gears are rotating inside this gear means speed on this type of the gear is inside so the speed of the speed of gear e is rotation the direction of rotation of the gear e will be same that of the direction of rotation of the gear t it is a meaning of internal gear okay 
So by solving the such type of the river river, first of all we want to prepare a table. Our our table consists of steps. Then second is motion. Third is revolution of elements. Revolution of the elements. The first element is here. Arm C. Second element. First of all, this arm C. Then second element is the gear S. The gear S. Third element is the gear P. Gear P. And last element is the gear P. E. So first, first step our um, method is we have to we are giving we are fix this arm C and giving plus one revolution to the gear S. First step is fix arm C and give plus one. Revolution to gear S. We have we will fix this arm and give plus one revolution to the gear S. What is the meaning of we are giving the plus one revolution to the gear S? Means gear S. We considering that gear S is rotating in one revolution in clockwise direction. Plus sign indicate that the rotation in a clockwise direction and Negative side will indicate that the rotation in anti-clockwise direction. When we fix the arm, the number of revolution performed by the arm is zero because we are fixing the arm. We are giving the plus one revolution to S. Means number of revolution performed by the gear S is equal to one. The gear S is meshing with the gear P. So n of P divided by n of S is equal to T of S divided by T of P, where T S is the number of T on the sun here, and T P is T P is the number of T on the planet here. This will be a minus sign because these two gears are meshing externally to each other. These gears are meshing externally to each other. And here N S N S is what? N S is equal to one means N P is equal to N P is equal to minus T L divided by T P. So here it is equal to minus T S divided by T P. Okay. So now we have to find the revolution performed by the element for gear E. So n of E, the gear E is meshing with the gear P. So n of P. Is equal to T of P divided by T of E. Okay, and sorry, here T and not N. T of E. The gear P and gear E are internally meshing with each other. So here will be not minus sign, it will be a plus because the direction of rotation of the gear P will be the same that of the direction of rotation of the gear E because these are both meshing internally with each other. And N P is equal to T P upon T E into N P. And what is the value of N P? N P is equal to minus T S divided by T P. So N P will be write as minus T S divided by T P. This T P T P will get cancelled, and it is equal to minus T S divided by T E. And P is equal to minus T S divided by T E minus T S divided by T E. Okay, this is our first. Step. This first step is very important by solving this type of the numerical. Now, second step. 
second step what what is our second step multiple by x multiply multiply by x means what instead of giving a plus one revolution to gear s we are giving a x revolution to the gear s so but r in this case r c is fixed therefore this is equal to zero this is equal to plus x this is equal to minus x into ts divided by tt and this is equal to minus x into ts divided by tt this is the step number 2 now third step is and y revolution revolution to each end y revolution to each end we are adding y revolution to each element means we are adding y here y here y here and y here okay we are adding a y element to each other and fourth step is add step number 2 and 3 add step number 2 and 3 y plus 0 y x plus y x plus y this y minus x into ts divided by tp and here y minus x into ts divided by tp okay this is our table okay and we have to solve this numerical by using this table what is the meaning of these terms what is the meaning of this each term we will write on this side this y represent the number of revolution performed by the arm c how many number of revolution performed by the c or speed of the arm c means n c is equal to y n c is equal to y this x plus y this term x plus y represent the number of revolution performed by the gear s or speed of the gear s means n s is equal to x plus y this y minus x into ts divided by dt this term represent the number of revolution performed by the gear p or speed of the gear p means n p is equal to y minus x into ts divided by dt and this y minus x into ts divided by dt t e this term represent the speed of the gear e that is n e is equal to y minus x into ts divided by dt so this is the meaning of this of tail now we what they ask find the number of teeth on a different wheel we have to find out the number of teeth on a gear t on a gear s and gear e so we will solve this in i will here is this table we require this last row in the table so we will write it on this side so what is given here we are given that the internal gear e is which is stationary means gear e is stationary means number of revolution performed by the gear e is equal to zero okay means n e is equal to zero and what is the given n c speed of the c is equal to n c is equal to 1 by 3 into n s and here n c is equal to here n c is equal to y therefore n c is equal to y therefore y is equal to 1 by 3 into n s and what is the n s n s is equal to x plus y n s is equal to x plus y so if we consider assume that Uh, before 
solving this, we will see that y is equal to, we will prove this value. Ns. Ns is equal to x plus y. So 3y is equal to x plus y. Therefore 2y is equal to x or x is equal to 2y. Okay? So where y is represent the number of revolution performed by the half speed. Now assume assume y is equal to 1 assume y is equal to 1 so when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 then x is equal to 2 now n e n e is equal to y minus x into t s divided by T e e s divided by T e. and this N e is equal to 0 therefore N e is equal to 0 value of y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 into T s divided by T e therefore 2 T s divided by T e is equal to 1 or T s divided by T e is equal to one half T D is equal to T S T D is equal to T S means if there are X or there are suppose five number of teeth on S here then on E there are ten number of teeth okay we will we have find out this equation okay now N P N P is equal to y minus x into T S divided by T P N P y is equal to 1, x is equal to 2. What is the value of T S? S divided by T. T S divided by T. Okay. This is our equation. Now we have to concentrate here. Concentrate here. If this total diameter of the gear E, the total diameter of the gear E is equal to diameter of the planet here plus diameter of the gear. S plus diameter of the another planet here. If we see in this diagram, the diameter of this outer gear E, diameter of outer gear E is equal to diameter of the planet here plus diameter of the sun here plus diameter of the another planet here. Therefore, DE is equal to diameter of the sun here plus 2 times diameter of the planet here. Okay, and if the circular pitch of the each gear will be same, then we can write this equation in terms of diameter that is in terms of teeth. T E is equal to T S plus 2 into T P. Okay, and here T E is equal to 2 T S, T E is equal to 2 T S is equal to T S plus 2 T P. This T S will get on this side will minus, then T S is equal to 2 T P. We will get this 2 equation. We have get this 2 equation that is we will write on this side. T E is equal to what? 2 times T S and T S is equal to what? 2 times T P. This Two equation we have when we solve this. Now, here we have this equation that is NP is equal to NP is equal to 1 minus 2 into TS divided by TP where 
Ps is equal to what? 2 times Cp and P is equal to 1 minus 2 Ps is equal to 2 Cp that is equal to 2 Cp divided by Cp this Cp divided by cancel is equal to 1 minus 3 and then P and B is equal to 1 minus 4 and B is equal to 3 ok but they, what they ask here they ask find the minimum number of teeth on any wheel we have to find out the number of teeth on each wheel and they give us condition that the minimum number of teeth on each wheel will be a 20 means we when we find out the number of teeth on each wheel then Minimum number on teeth in any gear should be a 20 or should be greater than 20. We have these two equations that is Ps in P is equal to 2 times Ps and Ps is equal to 2 times Cp. Here very small number. The gear is the largest one, the number of teeth on the gear E is large, then less number of teeth on gear will be S and small number of teeth on a gear P means there are very less number of teeth on gear P then number of teeth on a gear S will be more than P and number of gear on a gear E will be greater than S and T so assume number of teeth on gear P is 20 we have condition that minimum number of teeth any gear is 20. So we consider the number of teeth on a gear P is 20. Therefore, TP. TP is equal to 20. So TS is equal to 2 into TP that is equal to 40. And T is equal to 2 into TS. TS is 40. Therefore, T is equal to 80. E is equal to 80 and these are the number of teeth on any gear to maintain or to satisfy this condition that is when gear S is rotating or arm C is rotating one third times the speed of the gear S. So this is a overall numerical, such type of numerical you ask in your final exam for 6 to 8 marks or sometimes you must ask for 10 marks also. So in this way we can solve this numerical and we have get that the teeth, number of teeth on a gear P is 20, number of teeth on a gear sun gear is 40 and number of teeth on a gear E is 80.